riding around, no gimme. I'm riding around, no gimme. I'm riding around, no gimme. It man. All right, now that we got that out the way, uh, we're gonna get right into it. Um, you see from the title what this is, and um, this video, you know, it's not to um to brag or boast or to make it like I'm balling or nothing like that. Um, it's more so just to show people that, you know, there's ways out there to make extra income, you know, other than resorting to selling drugs, crime, robbing people, and bullshit of that nature. But, like I say, just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag and no, no bullshit like that. Most people know me, that ain't me. But it's more so just motivation, like, you know, if, if you know, you're living tight, check to check, whatever the case is, you know, do something on the side, you know, or even if that's not the case, you know, you can be straight, but you may just want extra money to to take trips, about to eat every now and then, you know, find a side hustle, Uber, Uber Eats, and um, me personally, you know, I love Uber Eats. Um, Uber was cool, but you know, when I hopped onto Uber Eats, it was even better because, you know. You know, I can adapt to any situation. You know, I can be social when I need to be. But let's face it, you know, if you don't have to deal with people, you know, hey, why not go that route? And so with Uber Eats, is like you don't have to really deal with, you know, as much interaction. <laughs> you know, as long as you put a good smile on your face when you drop the food off or whatever, you know, as long as you're dressed decent, not looking all raggedy or whatnot, your breath stinky and shit, and you know, don't be looking fucked up you know you're gonna get a, a decent tip most of the time um that's a whole nother subject i don't really want to get on it but that's a whole nother subject with you know people and how they tip but we're not going to get too much on that because you know if you got some people you know you could be the nicest in the world you know they're just not going to fucking tip but anyway um you see from the title um like i say and also this way I think I said on the title was on um, like about seventy-five dollars in two hours, and that equated to about about thirty-seven dollars an hour. Um, I did kind of lie on that. That's me and my wife combined. Um, I went out for an hour. I made twenty-eight dollars, and she went out for two hours, and she made forty-seven dollars. Mind you, we have two vehicles, and so. Like I don't want to be misleading, cause like I say, you still make up money. Like I said, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this up on the screen, cause um, even for my hour alone, I made twenty eight dollars an hour, and with her two hours, she made forty seven, and you know we're a household, so us combined together, that was seventy five dollars in like two hours, and I know everyone is not married, they don't have a boyfriend girlfriend, and so everyone, you know, they can't necessarily take two vehicles and go out at once and do like we do but even if you can't you know just looking at her like i say she did two hours and made 47 dollars i did an hour and made 28 dollars that is also thanks to tips you know um like i say women you got it good because naturally men are going to be more inclined to to tip a cute woman as opposed to a big grizzly looking motherfucker like myself you know so women are already at an advantage you're gonna already have that advantage if you're cute you know people especially guys they're gonna be more inclined to leave you that five or ten dollar tip you know me on the other hand you know it's just i got to you know be on my toes be on my p's and q's you know but um like i was saying you know it's definitely possible and also, um, one other thing, like tonight for us, it, it's you got to know your area, the, um, the demographics of where you live. Um, like for one, today was Friday. People get paid on Friday, so if you do this, you always want to go out on like Fridays, the days you know people get paid, people have that extra money to spend, people are more willing to tip because it's Friday. They just got paid. You almost want to have the mind, you know, it's like that hustler's mind. You know, I don't want to say drug dealer because we're not drug dealers, but you want to have that hustler mentality um, that you can make good money. Like, I don't do this full time. As you can see, I'm at my full time job right now. And so this for me is extra money. But I met 
one or two people to actually do it full time and they actually show me on the app what they make in a week and they do great you know but me personally even though it has that potential it's like i prefer to just do it you know an hour or two a night here and there when i want to you know and even if my money's not tight i still prefer to go out and do it because it's just like easy money and even if you just you know me i'll just tell myself hey ten dollars a day you know ten dollars a day you know five seven days a week that's 70 extra dollars a week 140 extra dollars every two weeks you know so it's all about how you look at it the hustle mentality and some people they're not gonna want to do this shit because they got too much pride and too much ego like i don't be no fucking delivery driver delivering food and shit but guess what that's great because that's more rides for me to take you know <laughs> but um like i said i don't want to make this video too long but i like to share you know if i have ways to um get money extra money shit like that i like to share and um you know back to what i was saying though it goes back to knowing your area knowing the good times to go out knowing the good areas to go out and a lot of times um let's just say it's a bad area of town they usually know that and so they give you like perks to make you want to go in those areas um like let's say for my area they um they always have like specials for like downtown jacksonville and st augustine um for some reason i guess a lot of drivers don't go in those areas and so if you don't mind going in those areas for like each trip you do you're going to get like an automatic extra three dollars on each trip and like i said it's all about knowing your area taking advantage of certain days like fridays paydays saturdays you know even sunday mornings when nobody wants to get up people want to be lazy it's just about knowing the demographic and knowing the right hours like me i work overnight but at the same time i know that if i go out from seven to nine it's a good chance i'm going to get at least three or four rides you know which is an easy like twenty dollars assuming no one tips but if everyone tips you know that's like thirty forty dollars if everyone tips and you know you don't want to necessarily rely, rely on tips like I said, everyone doesn't tip, you know, everyone doesn't leave a five or ten dollar tip. Some may leave like a dollar and some change. And I'm not knocking that. I will happily take that dollar and change tip. I don't complain about that. I'm very thankful. But, you know, some people, you know, they're like, man, you should have kept that shit. I'm like, fuck that. I will take that one two dollar tip because, you know, the one or two dollars on top of your six or seven dollar ride. You know, boom, you're eight, nine dollars. So, like I said, it's about knowing your area, having a game plan, and, you know, just sticking to it. And another thing, just don't ride around burning gas looking for rides. After you get a ride, find somewhere to sit. That way you don't burn fucking gas. And that's another key thing for me because, um, you know, we have a Sonata. I wasn't a fan of a Sonata when my wife told me she wanted that car. But that car is fucking excellent on gas. I've come to love that car because of the the um the gas mileage, how good it does on gas. And then on the other hand, we have um a SUV that we use, the Envoy. That on the other hand, you know, it's a gas guzzler. And so you if you have one of those, a lot of people be like, it's not even worth it. Cause I'm gonna spend the money I make on on gas which is true depending on how strategic you are because like i say i do it in my gas guzzler but at the same time i find a good spot to sit and wait and then you know once i get a ride i deliver it you don't go back to that spot you find the spot close by to sit and wait unless you get a ride instantly if you have a gas guzzler you can still make money it's all about being strategic but um well yeah i don't want to make this video too long i don't like doing long videos because i know most time people don't even watch it to the end but um if you watch it to the end like i say just motivation to to just grind man you know we live in a world the price of everything is going up and so you know if this could be a motivation for someone 
someone who was thinking about doing it, you know, um, do it. I mean, um, I, honestly, I promise you, I did not do this video for this reason. But if you actually watch this video to the end, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put my uh, my Uber code in the description box, just in case you want to sign up. Just use my code, and I know it used to be like if someone signs up and they do like an X amount of rides, I don't know if it's like 50 or 100 rides, you know, that person will get like a, a $50 bonus. I really don't believe it's nowhere near that right now, but I will still drop my um, information in the description box for you guys if you um if you're actually interested in signing up or whatnot. Like I said, this video it wasn't to um to solicit that. I promise you that. But anyway, um, I'm in a trap with my my original grind. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. But if you watch the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share, all that good stuff. I even have um, an old Uber vlog that me and my wife did even went to Orlando. And like I said, it was a good idea at the time, but at the same time, like I told you, it's about knowing your demographic. We're not from that area. And our initial thinking was like, hey, Orlando's a big city. It's got to be a lot of money. People got to be ordering food constantly, but we were wrong. You know, it's a tourist city. People are out, they're doing stuff. And so nobody's sitting around thinking about eating, you know, so. If you watch that video, you know, you'll see how we did in that video. We didn't do good, but like I said, that wasn't our area. We were kind of just taking a a chance and, you know, but at the end of the day, it was a great experience. Anyway, I'm rambling on deuces.